Hello everybody and welcome to the replay. Come on in and say hello. Working. And welcome to the <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Hey, Carrie. Hello. 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 Ooh, a mess. Express. Turn my volume down here. Hello. Hello. So, for a lot of you, it is Monday. For me, it's Friday night. This is my Friday night. <laughs> How are you doing, Ashley? I just finished my seven days at work. I have a little step stool here so I can get a little taller. We're in my kitchen right now. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait a second for anybody to come in that can come in. Dun, dun, dun. So, like I said, it's my Friday night, and we're in my kitchen. We're in my kitchen. Um, a lot of people voted for the kitchen conversions. Oh, there's a big glare on there from the... What are you making for dinner, Ashley? So, it's our kitchen conversions. And I ordered, actually, these really cute flower sack tea towels, and I thought we would do some really cute towels with this. And then when I came home, I thought, well, I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to cut it up so much. So I thought I would open up one of my cabinets and I thought it would be really cute to put the kitchen conversions on the inside of a cabinet. What do you think? What do you think of that? <laughs> Hey, Sherry. Hey, Sue. <clears throat> shoes for this thing. We are in my kitchen. Baked chicken and potatoes. Um, I just got home from work and I told my husband I don't want dinner tonight. I just am staying on a liquid diet tonight. <laughs> I just had my lunch at 4.30 at work, so I do not... <laughs> want to eat food food so here we have kitchen conversions and I thought we would put it here okay I'm gonna hop off my stool so what I'm gonna do first luckily you know I have this is my seventh day straight working that you only can see this way and not this way where all my dishes are because there's a few dirty dishes not a lot I can't complain my husband um I can't complain can't complain. So here's our kitchen conversions. We have a tablespoon equals three teaspoons, which equals half an ounce or 15 mLs. We have quarter cup equals two ounces or four tablespoons or 60 mLs. One cup is eight ounces or 240 mLs. A quart is two pints or 0.95 liters, 32 ounces or four cups. We have a pint is two cups or 16 ounces or 480 mLs or a gallon. We have 128 ounces, 16 cups, eight pints, four quarts or 3.8 liters, yeah? So I thought I would make these tea towels, but then I changed my mind and thought, what if we did this? So I have my Sharpie over here and what you guys cannot see is, I'm gonna write on the back kitchen measurements. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but if you went all the way back, see that wall back there that I'm pointing to way back there? That's actually my lemon wall 
And I did get these really cute tea towels. So I have a retired um, Chalk Couture transfer called Lemonade Stand, I think, that my um, one of the leaders in my group had, and I won it. Yay! I won it. So um, I'm going to make, I think, some tea towels that match the lemon theme to hang on my oven because normally I have wine themed, but I just put them in the wash for whites. Okay, so here we go. Hey, Ezzy, yeah. can you go down and get the towel off the table, my little fuzzing cloth? Well, I have to go to the bathroom, so I'll probably bring them now. Okay, so we're gonna have to chat for a second because I came upstairs and brought everything but a fuzzing cloth. Mm -mm -mm. I love that idea too, so I hope this works out. I'm trying to see. The towels I have up here are a little lente. Maybe I will just run down. I'm gonna let you guys look at the Club Couture of the month while I go and get it. Okay, here we go. I have my fuzzing cloth, so I'm gonna use the side that has the tag. I'm just gonna fuzz it over here. Maybe if I move back far enough, you guys can see. I'm gonna peel off half of the transfer off of the backing, and I'm gonna stick it right on my fuzzing cloth. I missed you guys. This whole working thing makes me not be able to see you guys for a few days. I actually don't remember when my last live was. <laughs> All right. Ezra, I got it myself, babe. So I'm going to fuss half. And it's the first time that we're using it, so I do like to super fuzz it quite a few times on the fuzzing cloth when it's the first time. Because the transfer is a reusable silkscreen with adhesive on the back and it can stretch from all the stickiness. And we're putting it on a wood surface and we definitely don't want to stretch our transfer because we want to use it for other cute projects like the trays that I showed you guys that we did the eat and the chicken. This is going to go so cute on that. So I thought I'd put this on some tea towels. I thought we would do a tray. I just did not stain any of the trays yet. So once I stain some of those trays, I'm gonna make a conversion tray. Because wouldn't it be cute to serve your guests a little snack or something and it has these little kitchen conversions that fits perfectly on the larger one um, that the craft store sells. All right, so we have fuzz this. Get my step stool. If I fall, somebody just call 911. And I don't want to put it too high because I want to be able to see it. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to smooth it. Okay, see this? Smoothing it down. You see that? I guess you guys can kind of see that. There we go. And it's right on the inside of. Um, where my dinner plates and my bowls are. And it's right where I'm cooking. So if I'm standing here and I'm making something and I'm just like, it calls for what? I can just take a glance. There you go. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna make sure we have no bubbles because remember, bubble is trouble. And then I wanna make sure I have it down all the way so that there's no bleeding. I want to see how long it takes my husband to realize it's here. He doesn't care though. All right, so what I have is I have my bright white. Um, hi, Deborah. Hey, Heather. Hi, Susan. Susan, um, I was just talking about you. Hi, Brianna. So I'm gonna take my 
stir stick and I am going to stir this up. We want it to be the consistency of sour cream or Greek yogurt. It's pretty close, yeah. And I have my four inch angled squeegee right here. So this is gonna be perfect to just go ahead and smooth that on there. This is gonna be so cute. So I'm gonna take some of my bright white and I'm just gonna glob it. I like to put it on where the blue is, the teal, because it's not part of a screen and I can kind of let it sit there without worrying about anything drawing. And there's so many different um, components to this that I'm gonna put some all around so it can get on all of these silk screens. There we go. So let's see how it goes. And then I'm gonna take my four inch handled squeegee and we're just going to drag it down. You see how quick and easy this is? I love how smooth this um, angled squeegee lays the paste. See how that little bit of paste really can be spread quite a bit. So just a dab will do you. You should be able to see the design on your silk screen on the other side. I have a little layer on the back. There we go. There we go. So I'm finally off of work for the next seven days. So I have some fun videos planned, some fun flash sales planned, and some bundles planned for this week. So you want to stay tuned, okay? I'm going to just take this and put the excess back in my jar. There we go. Nice and smooth. And then we want to start taking this off before it dries. So I'm going to grab both corners and then we're just going to pull it straight down. Are you ready for the peel and reveal? I feel like we need like a, a peel song. And nice and even, we don't want anything. There we go. This is perfect. Can you guys see this on here? Oh my gosh, if you love it, give me some hearts or some thumbs up. I love how even the font is a little distressed. So there, I'm gonna hold this here. Ta-da! Look at that! Now this transfer here, luckily I'm already at the sink and I can just rinse this off with my board eraser. Oh, look at all those hearts! Yay! So, how many cups are in a pint? Hmm, well... <laughs> Yep, there we go. Perfect. And I'm not going to worry about sealing that. So this can be washed off later if I wanted to because it's on the nice wood um, finish that's kind of, um, I don't want to say glossy, but kind of. Thanks, Ashley. I'm going to take a picture of this closer up so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but isn't this amazing? I think it's awesome. It actually, I wasn't too sure about this when I did it, but I love it. And it looks even better close up. So I'll take a picture. And um, thanks, Sherry. Thanks, Ashley. So this is my quick project for tonight because it is my Friday night. Um, I love it too, Susan. Thank you. I think it is adorable. And if anybody wants to guess how long it's going to take my husband to notice that it's there, um, maybe we can turn that into a little, <laughs> a little prize too. Because I wonder if he'll notice it tonight. I don't think he's going to reach for a plate tonight because I think he said he's going to Wegmans to pick up um, 
something to eat there. And I'm just skipping dinner tonight, but um, I don't know when the next meal is. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow night I'll open it to get a plate. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much. A month, Sherry says a month. Okay, we'll see. A month. <laughs> Um, all right, so thank you for joining me for this quick little project, and this is so much more fun than the towels I was going to make with you guys tonight, and I will post the picture, and it came out amazing. Have a great night. <laughs>